Suggestion number two, attitude. There's two of them I want to tell you about. Crucial, because listening in itself won't work for you in your marriage if you don't have the right attitude. So I want to give you two. You may add others of your own. I was in North Vancouver doing a talk with some preschool parents. And if you have children, I hope you do, we have four, uh, you may put them in a parent participation preschool because it's cheaper. But they ask you to come and help out a couple times a month. And they insist on you coming to a meeting once a month where they bring in people like me to talk to you. And my talk was how to survive in marriage while raising kids. And I was talking a lot about communication. So I said to them in the room, there must have been nearly 40 of them, a couple of guys, mostly women in this particular group, uh, who's the most important person in your life? And what do you think they, they said, almost to uh, a man and a woman? They almost, everybody except one person said the same thing. You know what it was? The kids. They said the kids. One woman said me. <laughs> I said, really? So how does your husband feel about that? And she said, well, he's number one, too, in his life. So how do the two of you do business? Like, uh, good, in fact, let me give you my card. I think you're going to need it, actually. <laughs> Battle of the Titans upcoming here. So I looked at them all and said, wrong answer, kids. Now I know how special kids are. Grandkids are even better, because you get to give them back. <laughs> they get to go home with their parents. But kids are amazing but they're less important than their mother. Just that less important, perhaps. But that attitude that our marriage has to be the priority is crucial. That first couple I told you about, who were so busy paying attention to their kids, forgot they were married. Now, I got news for you. If you have a little child, a little guy, a little girl, and you love them immensely, so much so that you neglect your relationship, that child will feel guilty because they think that you love them more than you love daddy or more than you love mommy. They want you to love them, don't get me wrong. If you hug each other in front of them, they'll wedge themselves between you like you and I might have done when we were kids with our parents if you ever saw them hug in front of you because we didn't, somehow we wanted to be the focus. But if that kid thinks that because of the way you spend time with him or her, that they're more important than their other parent, they'll like that on one level and they'll hate it on another. And if something happens to your marriage, they'll blame themselves because it's their fault the marriage failed because you love them too much. It's crazy how it works. So be careful. Even if your priority is your kids, and many of the people in the group said our kids are very important, have the best marriage you can then because it gives kids security to know you're good. It gives the kids security to see you communicate well together. So attitude, make your marriage a priority. And it's gonna be hard because you're busy making a living, you're busy taking care of kids, doing whatever else you have to do. You can get exhausted, but you need to make time for each other. So that's the first attitude.